So the question is, what is a sprint backlog? Uh, so according to the Scrum Guide, a sprint backlog is, is kind of three things together. Uh, the first is the sprint goal. Uh, the second is the selected backlog items. And the third is a plan to complete them, some kind of some kind of plan for that. Uh, those three together is the the sprint backlog. Uh, my 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 perspective is that the the sprint backlog is our transparency of the present, right? It's how do we know what are we working on just now? How do we know where we are in our progress towards our our current sprint goal and ultimately our overall product goal? Um, so the the sprint backlog is made up of all of the things that we're working on this sprint, but it, it's very important that the sprint backlog isn't 100% to do with the, the sprint goal. If we always have our sprint backlog must be 100% to do with our sprint goal, then what do we do with all those other things that we need to do over time? Perhaps we've got some refactoring, perhaps we've got some architectural work we have to do, perhaps we've just got some bugs to fix. Do we have to have a bug fixing sprint, right? That's where that dysfunction comes from. So what you do instead is your, your, your sprint goal encompasses some of your sprint backlog. This is the thing that you commit to, the thing that you're definitely, definitely going to try really hard to achieve, right? Because that's commitment, try really hard to achieve. That's the thing you're definitely, the thing you'll talk to your customers about, talk to your stakeholders about, engage with them on that, that topic. And then there's a bunch of other things that you're going to bring into the sprint that are perhaps nothing to do with the sprint goal. You might have, um, some some refactoring work you might have some uh, technical debt you want to go want to go fix um you might have here's some stuff that we haven't automated in a while and we want to want to go back and and fix that up uh perhaps you've got oh the build the build's taking too long um and we really need to go re-engineer that thing so that it's it's faster and our engineers know quicker that something's wrong that's all work that needs to be done that doesn't fit within a sprint goal because a sprint goal is always talking about what the customers need what the stakeholders need what are we trying to trying to deliver for 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 them the rest is business as usual right stuff we have to do all the time so that's included in that story so try and avoid having a sprint goal that is so big that you can't achieve it right any team uh, that is working towards a sprint goal and then they can't achieve it is not going to be happy, right? Hopefully they're not going to be happy. I'm not happy that I wasn't able to achieve the thing that I committed to trying achieve to achieve to the customers. That wouldn't make me happy. What if they, 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 they are in the position of doing that sprint after sprint after sprint after sprint? They're not delivering because the sprint goal is always too big. It's complete these 10 things and you only get six of them done so we failed. Or it's do this big thing and we got 90% of the way so we failed, right? If we're constantly failing, you're going to have an unhappy, depressed team and unhappy, depressed people don't make good products. They don't make good decisions. Uh, they tend to not give a crap about what it is you're building anymore at some point. Um, and we don't want to go there. So create, set them up for success by having a sprint goal that has a narrower focus, right? Not the whole sprint, just part of the sprint so we know we can achieve it and then add other things that are much more flexible, right? Whether we do half the refactoring or all the refactoring is kind of irrelevant as long as we do some of it and make progress. We've got that sprint goal. And don't be afraid to change what you're working on during the sprint, right? You can accept new work into the sprint. That's the other reason you have that flexibility, right? You have that sprint goal that's smaller is you can bring other work into the sprint. You can change what you're working on. Um, we can respond to the needs of the business, the needs of the customer, the needs of the market much more quickly. That's what a sprint goal is. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, follow and subscribe. I always reply to comments. And if you want to have a chat about this or anything else, Agile, Scrum or DevOps, then please book a coffee with me through Naked Agility.